Hi and a very good afternoon to all of you. I am Dr. Reema Ranga. I am a women's health physiotherapist and a childbirth educator accredited by the School of Lamas. So today we are going to talk about what is a healthy and a happy pregnancy. We all want that our pregnancies be very healthy and be natural and we have a you know very comfortable delivery. So during all this phase of pregnancy, we have so many questions in our mind. हम सभी को चाहिए कि हमारी pregnancy बिल्कुल healthy रहे, safe रहे, हमारा बच्चा ठीक रहे. But इस आप में से कितने लोग ये सोचते हैं कि आप कैसे रहेंगे? How much do you think about yourself? So that is why I want to highlight the issue of a healthy pregnancy. हम सब जब डॉक्टर के पास जाते हैं तो पूछते हैं बच्चा कैसा है बच्चे के मूवमेंट्स कैसे हैं बच्चा बच्चे को बराबर ऑक्सीजन वगैरह जा रहा है या नहीं उसकी हार्ट बीट्स कितनी है हाउ मेनी मदर्स गो एंड आस्क के एम आई ओके मेरे मेरे बॉडी में जो चेंजेस हो रहे हैं क्या उसके लिए कुछ कर सकते हैं मैनी ऑफ फर्स जस्ट एज्यूम कि प्रेगनेंसी में अगर हमारे साथ कुछ हो रहा है जैसे कि बैक एक हो गया लेग पेन हो गया स्वेलिंग वॉमिटिंग वी ऑल कंसिडर इट नॉर्मल इफ यू विल आस्क समवन देर से अरे प्रेगनेंसी में इट इज नॉर्मल बट वाई इज इट नॉर्मल इज इट नॉर्मल टू बी अनवेल इन प्रेगनेंसी इज इट नॉर्मल दैट यू शुड नॉट बी अ हेल्दी प्रेगनेंट वुमेन एब्सोलूटली नॉट यू कैन डेफिनेटली बी अ हेल्दी वुमेन just by you know inculcating some uh, practices in your daily life which i would like to highlight the first one is please invest in yourself with invest in yourself i mean look after yourself you are going to be a mom so look after yourself get yourself new clothes get yourself new skin care regimes buy yourself wonderful things invest in some beautiful time with yourself give yourself some time maybe if you like watching movies watching the tv or reading something do it give yourself time everything should not be only about that i have to do this 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 things for the baby no you need to do something for yourself as well and that is the best way to achieve a happy pregnancy because only a happy mother will give rise to a happy baby right so the first point is indulge and invest in yourself second one will be don't be afraid to ask help from others be open be frank ask as many questions as you want you have the right to ask your family members your husband your relatives maybe to for any kind of support that you are looking for you don't have to be bound that no how can i ask this question how can i you know not only with your friends and relatives even to your doctor or your healthcare provider just be very frank whatever question you have you might feel ke it is such a silly question kaise doctor ko bar bar puche but maybe it is something important so don't hesitate in asking questions the third one will be look for support with support i mean like i am a childbirth educator from the school of lamas there are many uh, such childbirth educators now what do we do is we train you through the entire process of pregnancy right from the time you have conceived till the time you deliver your baby to after that with this kind of help not only do you get emotional and educational benefit what happens is you are thoroughly prepared for your pregnancy you have an idea ke kya hone wala hai kyu hone wala hai ya agar koi suddenly medicines change ho rahe ya suddenly normal se cesarean ka decision le rahe why is it happening you are already well prepared apart from that you have someone to support you all the time a childbirth educator will teach you everything jo bhi aapko pata hona chahiye आप बोलोगे कि ये मैं गूगल से या बुक से पता करूंगी एब्सोलूटली राइट बट हर चीज शायद इंटरनेट इतनी पर्सनली आपको रिप्लाई नहीं कर पाएगी एंड एवरी प्रेगनेंसी इज वेरी डिफरेंट 
जो इस प्रेगनेंसी में आपके साथ हो रहा है शायद किसी और को ना हुआ हो सो दैट इज वाई इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट दैट लुक फॉर सपोर्ट दैट इज माई थर्ड पॉइंट फोर्थ पॉइंट वुड बी कीप सम टाइम फॉर योर सेल्फ टू रीड मेडिटेट एंड एक्सरसाइज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंटली एक्सरसाइज बिकॉज वॉट मैनी वीमेन फील इज नाउ दैट आई एम प्रेगनेंट आई कैन नॉट डू एनी एक्सरसाइज आई एम ऑन बेड रेस्ट सो नाइन मंथ्स आई विल नॉट डू एनी थिंग एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विल यू नो बिगिन माई वेट लॉस जर्नी बट इट डज नॉट वर्क लाइक दैट If you keep on putting those extra kilos in your pregnancy, it would be very difficult to shed them post the delivery. तो ऐसा नहीं मैं बोल रही हूँ कि आप कहीं treadmill पे भागो या कोई weight lifting करो but very simple basic exercises which you can learn from any physiotherapist that you know. Just simple exercises so that you can improve your core strength because what happens in pregnancy is your stomach will increase your uh, the muscles of the abdomen will tear apart a little that is called diastasis recti so to avoid that we can do core exercises post your delivery you will need a lot of arm work so for that you can do a lot of hand exercises so that your arms are already strengthened you need to do some stretching exercises which are very important because if your joints are uh, you know very tight you you uh, will uh, like if your joints are already very tight you will have muscle cramps aches and pains so uh, that is the thing and of course one of the most important exercise is kegels exercise so what is kegels exercise it is a pelvic floor exercise because pregnancy mein kya hota hai jo niche ka pelvic floor hai wo thoda sa loose ho jata hai so what you need to do is जो अपना you know जो बजाइना है you just need to pull it in and out in and out इतनी simple exercise है but इतनी important exercise है because अगर आपकी pelvic floor की mobility सही रहेगी तब आपको definitely एक normal delivery achieve हो पाएगी so for that you need to do these uh, four five kind of exercises I'm repeating one would be breathing or meditation exercises second would be stretching exercises third would be you know uh, uh, all the strengthening exercises fourth is kegels exercise that is vagina tightening exercise so these are the things you can do to remain healthy and of course last and most important thing is the diet प्रेगनेंसी को एक एक्सक्यूज बना लेते हैं कि हम कुछ भी खा सकते हैं कुछ भी पी सकते हैं ऑफकोर्स आई एम नॉट से डोंट फुलफिल योर क्रेविंग्स यू कैन डू दैट बट देर हैज़ टू बी अ लिमिटेशन टू एवरीथिंग कोई भी चीज़ ओवर डू नहीं करनी है और जो भी आप खा रहे हो या पी रहे हो इफ वंस यू कैन गेट इट कंसल्टेड फ्रॉम सम वन इट इज वेरी गुड कीप अ चेक ऑन योर मील्स instead of having three full meals divided into five to six small meals many women have this problem ke bahut vomiting ho rahi hai kuch pet mein reh hi nahi raha hai isliye i will keep eating cakes and chocolates kyunki wo pet mein reh raha hai so it is not like that you can please uh, take help from your doctor or your gynec and or from your dietitian and spread your meals chota chota meal khaiye जीरे का पानी पीजिए बरियारी का पानी पीजिए इलायची के दाने खा सकते हैं सो दैट इतना एसिडिटी आपको कॉम्बैक्ट करने में इजी रहेगा इंक्रीज योर वाटर इनटेक जितना हो सके पानी पीजिए बिकॉज यू मस्ट बी नोइंग बेबी इज इनसाइड अ वाटर बैग बच्चे के आजू बाजू में एक वाटर बैग रहती है जो आप डॉक्टर के पास जाते हैं तो आपने सुना होगा कि पानी कम हो गया है या यू नो You must have heard that kind of thing. So for that, you need to uh, drink coconut water. आप छाछ पी सकते हैं आप कोई भी लोकल कोकम शरबत बेल शरबत पी सकते हैं एनी थिंग बट स्टे हाइड्रेटेड सो आई वुड अगेन लाइक टू समराइज द की फॉर अ हेल्दी प्रेगनेंसी वुड बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंटली इन्वेस्ट इन योर सेल्फ मेक योर सेल्फ हैप्पी सेकेंडली Don't be afraid to ask questions. 
third look for support fourth exercise and fifth look and watch after your diet so that is what is about a healthy and a happy pregnancy so we have got a few questions here which i would like to answer for all of you so jenny asks hi doctor what special precautions to be taken during pregnancy hi jenny a uh, special precautions would be uh, <laughs> there are many special precautions for every different pregnancy and depending on your sonography your uh, baby health there are different precautions but very general precautions mean don't be very hard on yourself you know give yourself a little time and your body a little strength to adjust to everything secondly uh, watch with what you eat uh there are many you know articles which you can read which you should eat and you should not eat another important precautions would be when you are doing exercise or something please do it under the guidance of someone and uh, don't you know just follow some uh, videos and uh, randomly start doing because your pregnancy might be a little different than others okay jenny second question is by ritu swelling on leg hand figures and face is abnormal during 8 month of pre pregnancy breathing problem and low bp hi ritu so the swelling on the leg and hand and face is not abnormal in pregnancy ye ek bahut bada myth hai ki agar pregnancy mein kuch bhi hua to abnormal hai ya koi bhi kuch bhi dukh raha hai to wo normal hai aisa kuch bhi nahi hai swelling is normal it is going to happen because your body is going to release little more hormones ताकि आपके बच्चे को और अंदर स्पेस मिले जॉइंट्स थोड़े लूज हो जाए और बेबी इजीली नीचे आ पाए ब्रीथिंग प्रॉब्लम इज अगेन बिकॉज द स्टमक हाइट इज इंक्रीजिंग बट डोंट वरी वंस यू रीच योर नाइन्थ मंथ इट विल कम डाउन अगेन सो देन यू विल बी एबल टू ब्रीद मच मोर इजीली एंड यू सेड लो बीपी फॉर दैट यू नीड टू टॉक टू योर गाइनेट एंड दे विल डेफिनेटली रिकमेंड यू सम हेड लो और डिफरेंट पोजिशन सो दैट यू कैन लुक आफ्टर योर बीपी Okay. So the next question is by Hina Chauhan. Uh, मुझे कल से एट मंथ स्टार्ट हो जाएगा मुझे इवनिंग टाइम में भूख लगती है क्या खाऊं और इवनिंग में बहुत खराब रहता है आई थिंक शी मीन्स कि शाम को बहुत ज़्यादा एसिडिटी रहती है और शाम को बहुत ज़्यादा भूख लगती है अगर इवनिंग में बहुत ज़्यादा भूख लगती है तो इट्स ओके यू कैन ईट वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट वॉट यू कैन डू इज अगर आपको रात को ज़्यादा भूख लग रही है तो आप सुबह प्रोटीन वाला फूड खाएंगे यानी कि पल्सेस हो गया पनीर हो गया या वॉट एवर चीला वगैरह हो गया वो आप सुबह खाइए और आप रात को कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स वाला फूड खा यू नो फूड खाइए विच विल भी चपाती और राइस विच विल कीप यू फुल बाय द नाइट वट मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल डू इज वो सुबह रोटी चावल खाते हैं शाम को कुछ स्नैक ही खाते हैं फिर उनको रात भर भूख लगती रहती रिटर्न रिटर्न भूख लगती सो यू स्विच द थिंग यू हैव समथिंग लाइटर इन द आफ्टरनून में भी एंड एट नाइट हैव अ कार्बोहाइड्रेट फुल मील सो आपको वो तकलीफ भी नहीं होगी और इवनिंग में ज़्यादा भूख लगती है तो आप हेल्दी स्नैक्स के लिए भी ऑप्ट कर सकते हैं मकाना हो गया ओट्स हो गया You can opt for that as well. I hope I uh, solved your query, Hina. So the next question is by Chandni Nirmal. Shall I travel to office during this period, or is it risky? It's eight kilometers from my home. Hi, Chandni. So the risk right now is uh, COVID. That is a much more bigger risk than any other risk. So if you feel you are safe enough, because see, for pregnant women, immunity is much lower than that of normal people. so if you feel your immunity is strong enough you can do a rapid antigen check and you know go for that but of course you are going to office so you're going to meet many people so it is totally your call apart from the fact ki traveling could be risky traveling cannot be risky if your gynec says it's okay if your placenta is fine if the baby is you know high enough then it's fine but just for the covid sake i would say if you could work from home it is much better uh next question is by navlax kapoor she asked me what things should i avoid when pregnant navlax you need not avoid anything when you are pregnant and just uh, smoking and drinking that's the only thing you need to avoid and uh, of 
course being very lazy is one thing that uh, you know many pregnant women should avoid because don't give yourself this excuse that i am pregnant and you know i can just laze around everywhere give your health a kick start pregnancy is a chance to restart your body restart your mind restart your entire life and routine so make sure you make the most of it we've got a few more questions let's see so uh, prachi wants to ask can too many of ultrasound harm the baby uh, yes prachi because ultrasonic waves are radiations so we do not recommend many scans unless the gynac detects something then they do a repeat repeat scan otherwise just the prescribed scans that are done that's all okay so uh, next question is by deepika rastogi my baby has two uh, loop of cord around neck uh, is normal delivery possible i am 36 weeks pregnant yes deepika uh, you can uh, definitely have a normal delivery loops are uh, not at all uh, important loops of cord do not decide whether the baby will be normal or not again you can meet a you know childbirth educator or a physiotherapist because there are exercises which can help in uh, moving the uh, baby positions and all and the loop of the neck is just fine you know sometimes the baby will just unwind itself in on its own so you don't think much about that unless the cord is very tight then they have to do a cesarean otherwise you can still have a normal delivery don't lose hope and keep meditating uh next question is by chandani nirmal it's been 5 days i have missed my period done pregnancy says test it says positive much congratulations for that and my ovulation date was 15 november please guide what to do next what to do next is go and meet a gynecologist uh get yourself done get your first sonography done and uh, check for the best that you know uh, you know just uh, just check whether everything is fine which will definitely be fine chani hoping the best for you and uh, of course you can then also meet a childbirth educator and get more insights in what is pregnancy and how to be a healthier mother Okay. Uh, next question is uh, by Revati Raja Mani. What are the different types of prenatal care? Different types of prenatal care is basically different types of, uh, you know, there is Garbh Sanskar, there is Lamas Childbirth Education, there is Kappa Childbirth, and uh, there are many more uh, schools of thought. So, it's not that there are some different care. Everybody looks after the same thing. so everybody is trying to have a healthy and a happy baby it is just like a carpenter has many tools in his bags kisi cheez se kya banega kisi cheez se kya banega but banna sabko ek hi hai so don't uh, think about ke what is the difference between each school see what suits you what are you more comfortable with are you comfortable with garb sanskar are you comfortable with lamas are you comfortable with kappa Uh, or are you comfortable with hypno birthing that is one more thing that has come up nowadays there is water birthing bahut sari cheeze hai if you want to know more details you can uh, please contact me and i will uh, definitely help you with that lakshmi mishra what prenatal care is necessary lakshmi most important prenatal care is taking care of yourself more than anything else listen to your body look after your body look at the small signs that your body is giving and always be alert okay uh so i think that are all the questions that we have yes i think that is that is enough questions uh, that we've had and uh, so i hope i have given you all some little bit of information on what is a healthy and a happy pregnancy but still if you all do have queries feel free to uh, put a uh, message down in the link i will get back to you and uh, please take care of yourselves give yourself the priority be happy do what you like and uh, all the best to all of you thank you very much